Greetings gun enthusiasts. I gotta make a quick video addressing the issue of ballistic media and BB calibration. First of all, the cheap over-the-counter ballistic gel that I put together is not the same technically as FBI or NATO or IWBA spec. I can Formulate it to approximate that three and a quarter to three and three quarters inch BB penetration, but it's just it's it's not the same media as what they're using professionally. What I look for with my tests is to compare different types of ammunition to each other, preferably in the same block, because I literally have had some blocks where the same ammunition that will travel 10 and a half inches in one will travel 14 and a half inches in another. And I try to calibrate, you know, but sometimes the conditions aren't always right for calibration. BBs are, are weirdly difficult for my little, uh, well, admittedly aged pro chrono to pick up. Uh, I can't always get a calibration on every block. And sometimes I'm just kind of lazy and I'm like, look, I got a nine to one ratio. I got an eight to one ratio, whatever, whatever I'm using currently, whatever I've found works with that particular brand. I assume close enough. That assumption is wrong. I've found that to be absolutely true. So sometimes you'll see me shoot, you know, a test where the bullets all come in under 12 inches. And I'm like, nah, good enough. You know, they went 11 because the previous block, they all went 13, you know? So, so I know there's... There's issues with my low-budget ballistic media. Now, the other thing is the general theory. And this is the meat, the meat of the argument. This is what I wanted to get to. Probably should have shot this part first because knowing YouTubers, the short attention span theater, and I include myself in this, I probably already lost nine-tenths of my audience. This argument is absolutely one of the most misunderstood arguments in all of ballistic gel testing, and that is the idea that somehow a, a block of ballistic gel simulates a specific human tissue. It does not. It simulates an average of human tissue. Specifically, it's meant to simulate a human torso average tissue. We're talking heart muscle, very much denser than lung tissue, also included in the average. Again, very different than sternum, also included in the average. Or let's say you slip a bullet in between the ribs. It goes through this little tough cartilage, and then it's free wee, into the lungs, right? Maybe you have to pass through a, a, a membrane first, diaphragm or whatever. Again, all different kinds of tissues, all different kinds of characteristics, all different kinds of way that a bullet will respond going through them. Sometimes a bullet's going to hit something that's going to mash the tip on it. it you know, it's going to hit a rib or something. It's not going to expand properly because it hasn't gone through enough fluid simulating like muscle tissue to get a good um, uh, fluid dynamic expansion in that hollow point cavity. So you're not always going to have bullet expansion, even under ideal conditions. Even if you don't have a cloth barrier, you're clogging the tip of your hollow point cavity. You, you, you're going to have um, all potentially a series of different potential results depending on the track your bullet takes through a human torso. And yes, you frequently in an actual gunfight will hit arms first, hopefully more muscle than bone. But again, you, you could wind up hitting up uh, the, the big, the, the great femur in the upper arm, right? Going through two, three inches of, t of pretty tough muscle tissue before you reach that, uh, th that, that, that chest wall cav the chest wall that you're that you're looking to hit and then begin your hopefully 12 inches of FBI spec penetration. In fact, this is exactly what happened in the FBI shootout. The one guy was hit with a nine millimeter round that passed through the the uh, the, the I believe it broke his his uh, his right forearm or not uh, for upper arm femur bone went through his rib cage from right to left and stopped just short of the heart. That round came so close to ending that shootout and saving half a dozen lives right then and there, but it did not 
This is one of the reasons the FBI abandoned the 9mm cartridge for 20 years, folks. 25? 25 years, whatever it was. This, this, the, the, the 12 to 18 inch ballistic gel media standard is, it's not meant to simulate actual events so much as it is meant to simulate an average of actual events when you shoot a human body. I've read a lot of people who seem confused about this, that seem to think that 12 to 18 inches in ballistic gel media equals a different measurement in a human torso. Well, no, it actually doesn't. It's actually, again, mine is not, is not FBI's back, but it actually is not meant to simulate a different amount of human tissue. It's meant to simulate the same diameter of human torso, but with all of the different tissues a bullet may encounter averaged. Not every bullet's going to hit that tough heart muscle. Not every bullet's going to hit that tough sternum bone. Not every bullet is going to reach the spinal column and bust through that on its way out the back. Not every bullet is going to pass effortlessly beneath the rib cage, go through liver only, and encounter the spinal column after seven or eight inches of utterly soft tissue. Not every bullet passing through a human torso is going to encounter the same tissues. But if you average a thousand law enforcement shots through a human torso, it will encounter at an amount of different, the average bullet, the average shot will encounter an average of different tissues that taken together are approximated, simulated, if you will, by ballistic gel media. 